Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Apple Petya, and I am Pratim Priya. So in this video, we will discuss how we can create a product attribute inside Velocity CPQ. And the last videos we discussed that how we can create a pick list inside the Velocity CPQ. That was a requested videos on by one of my subscriber. So I decided to cover up all the basic topic on the CPQ. So today we will discuss how we can create attribute. So if you haven't watched my previous video that was based on the pick list, so you can go and watch. And if you already know about that, don't waste the time to watch that video. You can directly jump on this videos and you will definitely understand because it's two basic videos to be understand inside the CPU. So let's move to create the attributes. So if you, I will directly use the previous created pick lists that I wanted to create attribute. So let's click the attribute plus and create a new attribute. So I will keep the name the similar product uh, pick list name number of subscriber. I will just write at the last attribute subscriber attribute okay now it should be the code double t a double t underscore any any code is okay code must be the unique code okay now n o s underscore a p t okay now we can keep check or directly keep select the count of subscriber okay now we have to check the active and then category attribute category you can keep you can keep a service i will keep select service okay let's keep service value type it's a number and then value and uh, no need of value actually but value is nothing but for the first time you haven't selected any pick list then value will be displayed for that first time so that needed to be value but i directly adding the pick list so no need of that so let's search the pick list Subscribe the number of subscribers and search it. So this I already this was I created in the previous videos as you already know how to create it. So no worries. And then we have to no nothing to check any of these things. Filter or it's encrypted or exclude from the basket cache. No no use of for now because this was used on the further advanced level that we will cover in later on. So just save this one. After saving it, it will come with the green masses that attribute is created. Now we have to click. Uh, we have to check applicable object. Applicable object must be because we are creating product attribute so it should be check that up the check we have to check hold the product applicable object is not checking that doesn't matter but one thing need to be check this up that was product to object so this you have to just check it just we ensure that it was coming and then you have to click slay, save again okay so I save it and in this way we, we will create that attribute product attributes now we wanted to check it's coming or not is it created or not so for that reason we have to search number of subscriber and it will come it's a search it as you can see it is coming with the number of subscriber attributes that we created just now so in this way you can create a product attributes so hopefully i will recommend you to watch this type of basic videos to be get better understanding on the concept in the basic level so i i will request you guys to subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comment box it is it helpful for you or not till then stay tuned with me and i will meet you in the next video Bye bye